Hi everyone and welcome to Bridgeport where I'll be renovating an apartment. So City Life's going to be coming out for The Sims 4 in a couple weeks and I thought it'd be fun to do a quick Let's Renovate an Apartment series in The Sims 3 before then so we can revisit apartments in The Sims 3 before we get them in The Sims 4. And since I want to finish this series before that comes out, it'll only be four parts, so I picked this two-bedroom apartment, which I should pretty easily be able to renovate in that amount of time. And this apartment's called One Leo Center, so it's supposed to be one of the nicer, more luxurious apartments in the city, but it definitely doesn't look very luxurious. It's in need of some renovation because we got this puke green carpet that looks like it belongs in the 70s or 80s, and then we have this cheap furniture that looks like it's something you would see in a college library. So yeah, we're going to be fixing that in the series, and... I'm just going to be focusing on the area within the apartment. There is a cheat that you can put in which will allow you to expand the apartment into these areas and change, you know, this area out here, but like I said, I want to finish this, apart this apartment in a couple weeks. I'm not going to be able to do that probably if I go renovating other areas, so yeah, I'm just going to focus on what we can do without putting in that cheat. As far as the layout goes, I'm not going to be changing a whole lot. I think the apartment's arranged pretty nicely. The only thing I want to change down here is getting rid of this bathroom and making the kitchen and dining area a bit bigger because this is only a two bedroom apartment. I feel like we don't need to have two full bathrooms in it. Um, it just kind of seems, it just seems kind of random that we have the bedrooms up here and then there's a full bathroom up here and then we just have this one down here. So I think it would be a better use of space to get rid of that and then have the kitchen start back here so we can get a better table in here because we just have this stinky little one and there's not a whole lot in this kitchen here. And I'm not going to change, yeah, I don't think I'm going to change anything with the layout up here. I feel like this is pretty good. We've got two decent sized bedrooms. And I was thinking that this could be a renovation for two roommates, but we could also make it for a small family. So maybe make this a kid's bedroom or something like that. But I'm leaning more towards making this an apartment for two roommates. But you all can let me know what you think. And you can also give me some ideas for themes for these rooms if you have any. Uh, this bathroom is actually pretty decent, but yeah, I'm still going to renovate that as well but the bedrooms uh yeah the, the carpet's gross like this this just doesn't feel like a luxury apartment to me it's just yeah it, it's in need of a makeover so the look i wanted to go with for this place was an ikea type aesthetic so something i guess a little bit more modern than what we have here or at least a little bit more up to date and to get some inspiration i did search for pictures of ikea living rooms and i found this one that i really liked so it had a green couch and then light green walls and i'll put a picture of it in the video so you can see what i'm talking about but i really like the color green that it had and the color scheme of the room is just greens and whites throughout it and yeah i really like that so that's what i'm going to go with for this room we're just going to have it be very bright lots of whites and such in it although i might go with a darker wood floor to contrast that we'll see once i get started on that but first of all, let's just get rid of all the furniture that's in here. I just, I really want to first start, just let's get rid of all this junk. I'm uh, going to keep the trash chutes though. Yeah, I don't really feel like dealing with the cheat to get those. Okay, then we're just going to delete this because this is going to be moved. I just, yeah, I want a clean slate. Don't have anything left behind here. Um, I might, okay, there we go. We can't get rid of that. I might leave this one. Can we delete this? I'm not sure if this is a thing. Okay, we canceled. So we have to figure out somewhere else to put these two trash chutes. This one's fine here. Uh... I don't really want this to take up space in the kitchen, though. I'll figure out something else with it. Okay, and then let's get rid of this bathroom since that's not going to be here anymore. We'll get rid of that, 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 that. And I'll just stick this, I don't know, maybe right here. Yeah, I think right here will be good. Because my thought for the kitchen was to have a galley-style kind of kitchen. So we'll have counters along here and then maybe... An island counter here with some bar stools. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough room for that though because I wanted to have a larger table on here so I might just have to have regular counters in this area and then I want to have it so that you can get into the kitchen from here and here so I'll probably yeah actually let's just stick a wall in here because I don't want it to be like you walk in and then you just have a counter right next to the door. I want to have some separation then we'll just put this here as well. I might change that and then I guess some half holes. Do we want to go with the modern wave? Oh this one might work. Yeah, I guess I'll put this one in for now, and then, I don't know, we could have another wall here that... Yeah, I don't really want to make this area feel too close. That's why I really wanted to do the island counter thing, but... There's just, there's not really enough room for that if I wanted to fit a bigger table in here, but I'm not... Yeah, I would definitely prefer to have island counters in here, like, just get rid of this wall and have island counters in. I mean, we could have island counters without the bar stools. 
Or another option is to have that, and then instead of having the table centered in this area, have it up against the wall and then just have a chair here, chair here, chair here. I think that could work. Yeah, because I, I feel like the island counter is going to look better in there than just doing what I was doing with the half walls. Because you got to have a half wall behind a counter if you're going to have it here, like just a regular one, because you don't want to be looking at the back of a counter. Uh, okay, so next step is to... Actually, let's get rid of the staircase. I want to place that with something more modern. So what do we have? One of these cool ones that you can see through. Okay, I don't know about that one. Ooh, we have the high and loft stuff one, but do I want to go that modern to where you can't... I don't know, where it's glass. Okay, maybe this one. I mean, this one could work. I could make it a solid white color. Oh, right, this isn't... Oh, I forgot. Oh, okay, right, right, right. I'm thinking this... I'm so used to The Sims 4 that I forgot that you have to do that to get it to be two tiles. Why can't I... Mm, is there a window or something? Oh, okay, there's... Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Okay, and we can't delete those. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this is something that really annoyed me with The Sims 3. All right, I'm gonna have to put it in that sheet so we can get rid of these windows and put it back in. Okay, I found it, so we just have to do shift Control c uh, I think we have to put in the testing cheat first, so testing sheets enabled true is what I think it was for The Sims 3. Was that it? I think that was it. And then I think the cheat after that is restrict build by in buildings off? I guess it would be off. I'm gonna copy that. Just okay, I guess we can't. Okay, let's just do that. Control c I think that's it. Yeah, just in case I get it wrong, so I have to put all that back in. Uh, okay, that's not it. Oh, it's plural buildings. Whoops, okay, hopefully that works. I think that's good. Did we do it? Yes, okay, that's it. So we can delete these stupid windows and get that staircase back in, and then I'm just gonna put those same windows back in. Yeah, because I really wanted to have the nicer staircase. Yeah, that's just, uh, that's just an annoying thing about this game. So we can put in a nicer railing on this. Maybe make it, so, although I think, you know, now that I think about it, it might be cooler to have one like this where you can see through it as you go up. Yeah, I think if we made it a solid white color, it would look a little bit better. So let's get a nicer railing for this more modern one. Do we have just a glass? I don't think we have just a glass railing. All right, I think we have to get rid of this one first. Yeah, I'm wishing there was a solid, this one's, I don't like it though. We have that. I guess that works. We can make it work. We can change the color of it. I guess I'll have to do what I want is I just want a solid glass railing, but unfortunately there's not one of those in The Sims 3. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's get all these windows back in here. There we go. Like we didn't do anything. And I'm just going to change this to a solid white color like I wanted to. So there was one in miscellaneous here. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, we'll make it a little bit brighter for this. I want to go with Actually, let's, let's copy this over to this railing, see how that looks. Okay, I like that, it's a little bit brighter. That's nice, that works. Okay, so next I wanted to replace the flooring in here because that's, it's gross. It needs to be done away with. I think there are some wood floorings that look pretty nice in here. Okay, no, I don't like that. The pattern repeats too much. No, don't like that either. Might have to go with the wood pattern that I usually end up using. Because I don't, I don't like how much this one looks like it's repeating. It just doesn't flow together very well. This one, it's a little bit busy though. I don't like that. No, don't really like that. Yeah, these aren't very good floors. I don't know why I'm looking at these. I'm not even going to use that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the wood pattern I always use then. Yeah, that's, a, that's the unfortunate thing about The Sims 3. There aren't a whole lot of good wood patterns in it. Ah, no! Ah, my laptop, I had this I had this pattern save that I always liked using. I think it was this one. It was this one or this one that I usually used and I just changed the color of it a little bit. I like this one. So we can we can go with that. Let's see how it looks if we make it all the same one, maybe a little bit darker. Okay, now that's too dark. Maybe a little bit less of a reddish. No, I think I like the reddish color a little bit more. I like that. We'll go with that. I could always tweak it a little bit later. Okay, we'll put it in there for now. I might put a tile in the kitchen later on. We'll see. Uh, and then let's also fix the walls. 
So for the wallpaper, I'm going to do a mix of white and the green that was in the picture. And I actually wrote down the hex codes for the green on the walls and the green on the couch, just so I wasn't messing around with the color wheel a bunch to try to find it. Oh, where was it? Paint. Paint's what I want. Yeah, I'm thinking just a solid wall. Okay, no, that's not solid. I don't want the molding at the bottom. Yeah, so we'll just get a white wall and then put that everywhere. Yeah, there we go. Want everything to look nice and light and bright in here. And then I'll just, I'll figure out spots to put in the green wallpaper. So maybe uh, in the kitchen. I don't know if I want to do some kind of, I probably should do some kind of tile backsplash in there. And for this wall right here, I'm going to go with the green color that I found. So let's get the hex code for that. What was it? I think I was B6, D0, B7. Yeah, hopefully that's it. I don't really have the best handwriting. Ah, that was it. Okay, I don't... I want a more solid wall coloring though. I don't like the speckling on that. So let's go to... let's go pick this. See how that looks. Okay, like that. I want something... say I want something with less texture than this, but more texture than that. I'll just stick with this one. That's good enough. Alright, so we'll put that... over here. Yeah, I guess we'll just have it here for now. I'll leave that void because I'm probably going to change that a little bit. And let's also have that over here. I want these walls. Yeah, so I have it there. Uh, I guess I'll just leave... Yeah, we'll put it here as well. You can't really see it though. Yeah, like you're not going to be able to see that when you go into sim view anyway. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll change these to that so you can actually see it somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Now that we've got that figured out, let's get some furniture here in the living room area. So I'm just going to start with this area and then move over here. I really want to finish this whole area in this part, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I'll see how long things take. Let's find a more modern type of couch. This one... I mean, that one could be... If we made a solid color, this one could fit, but... Yeah, I don't know about that one. Might not be the best choice. There was one... I. That came with late night, I think? This one? Ooh, this one's got the right look. Yeah, so we could change that. I want to go with a more... So how does this look if we make both of these the same color? Yeah. Okay, no, I don't want to go with that. Maybe we can find something in fabric that's a little bit more subtle than that. Don't really like the snakeskin type texture that it has. That could work. Yeah, we can... We can try that out. So the... Okay, so I got the hex code for the couch. That one is... Let's see. 3D8A60. I'm pretty sure. How does this look? Uh, okay, I think we're going to go with a different pattern for that. Something a little more solid. Still not sure about this couch. I'll look at some other ones. We can always just transfer the color over it. Over to it once I figure out the... Okay, no, not that. Uh, this maybe? Let's see how the color looks on there. Okay, we're gonna fix that. This one could work. It's a little more subtle. Ooh, okay, never mind. This is fun. Let's find something that works. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I picked that one again. I don't know. As much as, like, so color... So uh, creative style, it feels both a curse and a blessing. Because you could do whatever you want, but then the downside is you just spend way too long trying to find the right textures for everything. I could just go with the plain old one like this. I actually like that. Not, I don't know, not feeling that couch anymore. I want something a little bit more square. I could go with that one. I'm gonna look, oh, this is always a good one. Let's see how this one looks if we put that green on it. Okay, we don't want metal couch. Oh, wait, like, ugh, let's put this one on. Let's put this color on here. I'll fix that later. And then change this to this. Yeah, I think this one is a little bit more the look I'm going for. And then I guess for the legs, I'll just go with a white wood. So let's see if we can find a subtle wood. Do we have anything? Or I could always just go with that miscellaneous pattern that's solid. I think that'll work. Second thought, I don't know about that. Maybe more of a, a darker wood. I like that one. Okay, we'll go with that. 
Yep, definitely feeling that couch a bit more than the other one. Hopefully you all don't mind the... Well, so I could always make the cushion part of it white. Now, I actually like it the other way more. It'd be nice if you could change, make, make the cushions different colors. But next to it, I wanted to put a chair. I did want to put a love seat, but I don't think... Well, I mean, we could fit in a love seat here. We just kind of invade the... Cause I, we, I, we don't really have to keep all of this space open. Yeah, we could do that. Actually, first let's get a TV in here. I might just end up putting the same TV that I took out back in. I'll get that one. Now I like this one more, so I probably didn't really even need to get rid of that. Oh, and in case you don't know how I'm moving it this smoothly, I'm holding down Alt while moving it. So yeah, it just allows you to move things a little smoother. Actually, I'm going to turn on the move objects cheat so I can place things wherever I want. There we go. I think that was the cheat for The Sims 3, right? Yeah. The only thing is there's this space back here, and I don't know what to do do with the space. We could put the TV in there, but I don't know about that. It might be better to have it up close. Yeah, they can't really do I'll, I'll just leave that space empty. There's not really a ton we can do with it. And I suppose for the color of the... We could go with this coloring of it. it might be too much white, though. Let's, let's go with the white. Okay, so not to get a living chair or... A love seat or something like that. We have this, so this goes with the the set. Oh, so we could put so I could put a chair up here just so it's like a chair you can sit in if you want to join in on a group conversation or something like that. And let's make this chair so let's make this chair a white chair. And then I think that the set that this was from also came with a love seat. So in the picture that I had, the love seat was or the other couch ah, wrong thing. The other couch was, a, it was a pattern, but then it had some of a similar kind of, the similar kind of green to it that the couch had. I like that. So I'll make this chair white. Oh, that might be too much white next to that. What we could do is make the, we could make the couch or the love seat pad or the, <laughs> the chair pattern. And then the love seat, the solid white color. First of all, let me see. Okay. Yeah. So there was a love seat that came with it. So we can just fit that on over here and then we'll make this this color and then I'm going to go find a pattern for this that might work. So we'll look on the geometric pattern, find something that we can put a little bit of this green into just so we don't have all this white stuff near each other. Actually, I think abstract might be a better category to look in. Yeah, so you go with this kind of a pattern. That might actually be kind of... hmm. That could work. And then we have this one. Let's see what else we have before we settle on that. Oh, we've got some swirlies. Don't like that as much. That pattern, this pattern. This one might work. Yeah. Yeah, I'll think about that one. Actually, let's try that out. Okay, so maybe... So we could have... We could have this be a lighter green or, okay, no, uh, I think how it was was fine. Actually, let's put that green in, brighten it up a little bit. Oh, I want to try out some other patterns. Okay, not a spiderweb one, not going to be decorating this place for Halloween. Uh, let me see what happens if we put this color into this one. Because I wanted to have something that was a little bit less of the green. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm gonna try some other ones out. So after trying out some more patterns, I got to this one, which I think it looks pretty decent. Yeah, I'm finding that there's not really a whole lot of... I don't know. I'm finding it hard to find patterns that I really like. So let's figure out a coffee table. So I did notice that in the picture they had two smaller coffee tables like this. Like they're just kind of positioned a little bit off each other. And one was a green color and the other one was a white color. And I thought that looked... Cool, so I want to try that out. Yeah, so we'll just... Actually, maybe we should make the other one white. So we don't have the white table near the white table. I don't know. Break, space them apart a little bit. And then we can make this one a green color. I'm not going to keep it the exact same green color as the couches were. Because I feel like it'd be too perfect if they matched... Whoa! Okay, that looks really weird. Um, I feel like it'd be too perfect if they matched exactly. So we could go with something like that that's similar, but not exactly the same. So I don't know. I don't know what y'all are gonna 
think of this, but yeah, I'm having fun with trying a little bit different of a furnishing style than what I usually do. And then we could stick this fun rug in here. Um, just cause I like, I don't know, I like the colorful, like the colorful looks that some of the Ikea type rooms have. And I just wanted to try a type of furnishing or coloring that I usually don't do because I mean the Sims 4 you're very limited. So I just want to try some things that you can't really do in the Sims 4 very easily. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I noticed so in that picture they have kind of a, a beige-ish rug. I think that could work pretty well for this room. Like maybe this? How does this look? Hmm. I like it. And then for this one, let's make this match just so it looks like a more solid table. And we'll also add some decorations and so maybe some kind of plant on this table. Probably something smaller because we do have a TV right here. So I've got some uh, plant next to the TV. I'm feeling a plant. I could add this one in. Uh, maybe this little guy. Yeah, I think that works. Let me see if I can find something that's a little bit better though. So I do have some other ones. Ah, oh, I like this one. I like this one more than this one. So we'll get rid of this flower. Put this one in here instead. Yeah, I like it. And I'm gonna go with something, maybe a color other than, cause I don't wanna have the room be all green and white. We've gotta add in some other colors. So I think something that might go with it is sort of a pink reddish color like that. I think that goes pretty nicely with this room. And then we can find some other miscellaneous decorative type objects that would fit in with the living room, like magazines. So we can have some magazines in here. Uh, I forget if there's just a book, like a few books, like what they had with The Sims 4. I don't think so. We could also have just some some CDs left here as some clutter, just like they, yeah, just stuck them next to the TV. Unfortunately, we can't get them up on the TV and then we don't have that raising objects cheat like you do in The Sims 4. So we can't do that either. What else do we have that works? Maybe some tissues? I guess that's a thing that can work. And I probably should leave it as just that because I don't want this area to look too cluttered, but I'm pretty happy with how this is coming along. Wasn't sure how I was going to be at first when I got this green in here. Uh, so over here, I'm just going to go with a desk and a bookshelf like what they had. I think that was a pretty good layout because there's no space anywhere else for an office type area. So I think this was the desk they had in there originally, which I actually like. I might reuse that. Okay, no, not that one. No, that one's not quite modern enough. This one could work. Yeah, a little bit more of a modern look. Then we've got this one. Even though I deleted this one, I think I'm gonna put it back in. Yeah, I think it fits a style pretty well. But I'm just gonna change a color to a white to match that. Uh, I think it'll probably be good to darken this metal type color a little bit as well so you can see a little bit more against it. Okay, that works. And then let's figure out a desk chair for that. Uh, where's the office thing? There it is. What do we have? Ooh, this one. Uh, we can also get some desk lights. I think there's a desk lamp somewhere in here, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't remember. There it is. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, let's put that over here and then we'll get some more desk type clutter in here. I think there was a fire. Oh, not a fire. Um, a file type decoration. Yeah, this thing. Oh, I think there was also a pen cup. Yeah, do we have room for that? Oh, we have room for it over here. Anything else? I don't think we have a whole lot of slots left on this desk. We have, okay, I'm not putting that there. That makes no sense. I was just trying to see if we had another slot. Um, I don't know, we could put tissues. What else? Nope, not that. I think that's pretty good. Some books, we could stick some, eh. I might just leave that as it for the desk area. Thing. Or maybe a plant. There was that other flower that I didn't use. So this little guy. Oh yeah, that might be nice to have up there. Okay, so we'll stick with that. Uh, let's also get a bookshelf. I think this is what we had here before. Um, I probably should do- Oh, this one's kind of cool. Oh, I remember this one. This one was nice. Okay, no, that one looks like crap. We're not going to use that. I might actually go with the one that was there originally because it probably would be better to use a bookshelf that you can kind of see through just so that it's not completely blocking the really nice windows. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of other things that are really going to work here. So we do have, okay, no, not using that. That looks like trash. I mean, this, if it weren't for the cardboard boxes, I mean, it, I don't know. 
I, mean, I feel like this is a luxury apartment, so I feel like we should have something nicer than that. So, oh, right, 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 I forgot I had that. Ah, these are messed up now. Okay. Yeah, this might be the best one to go with. I'm just gonna, I don't feel like making up my mind anymore, so I'm just gonna stick that back in. And I was thinking for this one, we could, okay, so let's, so let's take the wood off of this one. Just get the pattern and then take the couch color, tweak it a little bit so we can have a green bookshelf. Just add a little bit more green over here. So we'll grab the color and I'll make it so it's not the, I might, mm, I don't like that. I might change it. Actually, we can do this. I think this will help. Okay, that makes it a little bit better, but we're definitely going to have to maybe make it a little bit darker. Tweak it just a teensy bit because I don't want the exact same green. You know, it's just, it'd be too perfect it was the exact same one. I'm going to darken a little bit. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. Maybe a little bit darker though. Okay, I'm trying to find the right... We'll just go with that. Okay, that's good enough for me. So we've got this whole area almost done. Hopefully it's looking a little bit better than it did before. And I was thinking it'd be nice to have kind of a painting and maybe a plant over here in this area. So we're going to put this over. Can we stick this right here? Why is this not... Oh, snap to the wall. There we go. And we can move this right here. That works. Yeah, so that, we'll keep that there. Uh, let's make this white instead. So I'm just going to copy this. Ew, okay, no, that's not right. That's not what I wanted. Alright, we'll take this, put it on the right slot. Okay, that works. Actually, I like this one more. So we'll take that metal instead. Make it a little bit lighter. Perfect. And I also want to change this, not really liking that too much. Will this be the right? Okay, good enough. That works. Or, kind of like how this one is. Yeah, that looks better. So let's get that plant in, that plant of painting over here that I was talking about. We can use this one. Okay, that works. And then how about a painting? Let's see, do you have anything modern? There is this one that always gets used. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that one works pretty well. Actually, let's get this plant over here so it's not blocking the painting so much. Okay, I like that. And I want to get some other colors in here, so I want to see how it looks if we change the black that's on this to a yellow color. Ooh, maybe if we tone that down a little bit, it'll look better, but I think it looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit brighter than that. Okay, that works for me. Uh, this one, let's change that to uh, maybe a gray or black. Yeah, maybe I should just delete this plant. Yeah, I don't think we need that. I feel like something else should go here, but I'm not sure what. Uh, it might look better if we get rid of this. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with this whole area. So if you have any ideas, you can let me know. And then for this corner here, I was thinking we could fit in a nice modern floor lamp. And then after that, I think I'll be done with this area, or at least for this part. Um, if you have any other details that you think should go in here, you can let me know. But I think we're pretty good. I don't want to fill this area in with too much stuff, or else Sims might have trouble getting through it. Uh, but let's see what we have that might work. So this, okay, mm, I don't know about that one. What do we have? Oh, this. Oh, I like this. Perfect, let's use that. And I actually like the color of it. I'm just, I'm not gonna mess with that. Actually, I'm not so sure about that yellow plant. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna change it to a more neutral color. Okay, that's better. So, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish the kitchen in this part, but I just wanna get started with figuring out how I'm gonna place things. So let's go with a nice fridge right here against this wall, and then I'm thinking stove over here. And then I'll probably put the sink in the island. That might be kind of an odd placement for it, but I don't wanna have the sink next to either the fridge or the stove. I just like to have some space between those things. And for the counters, what do we have that's nice and modern? Yeah, I don't remember exactly what we have. Okay, that's just island only, I think. So we could take this one and make it into something that works. Um, I might not pick out all the patterns this time. Can we- oh wait, can we even put a sink on an island? Ah, no we can't. I for, oh, I forgot about that. 
Okay, so no island sink then. So I might have to stick the sink here or <sighs> just have a just have this area walled off then. Darn. So I was really looking forward to that. Well let's see let's see how it looks if we put this in and have the half walls back in. Yeah, we'll just get a look. Because I, I feel like that looks better if you have the wall there. And maybe instead of going with the one with the glass, I'll just go with the regular one like that so it doesn't cover up so much of it. I mean, I think that's fine. We could do that. Uh, yeah, I probably won't pick out the patterns this time. But what I was thinking was that we could have white cabinets and maybe white countertops too. Or maybe a slightly darker countertop. I'm not sure yet. But I definitely want to have white cabinets in here. And I'll probably change this to some kind of more tile-like wallpaper. Actually, let's figure that out really quickly. So I think there were some that came with the late night that might work. I, Oh, right here, mall sets. Okay. So this might work really well. We, were, we are in the late night world after all. Okay, no, not that. That looks hideous. Uh, I think the first one we had here could work. So I'll just make this more of a white color. Yeah, let's see how this looks. And we'll darken that a little bit. Okay, so that could work. Although I would prefer something that's more tiled than that. Do we have anything? Oh, okay, never mind. Let's use one of these instead, because I want something with smaller tiles on it. Yeah, so I'll just transfer these colors over to this one. I think that'll work a little bit better. I mean, another thought I had was that we could make some of the cabinets, like maybe we can make the upper cabinets green. That might be kind of cool to have white lower cabinets and then green upper cabinets. That could be something fun to try out. Okay, so going back to the kitchen stuff, let's get some cabinets for it. Ah, uh, I forgot. So Into the Future had smaller upper cabinets. But I don't have Into the Future on installed right now. I thought I installed, but for some reason it didn't actually install. But I think we'll be fine without that. Okay, so we got that. Should we have counters over this? Or cabinets over this, actually? It might close the kitchen off a little bit too much if we have cabinets over there. I don't know. This is an apartment, though. So it is going to ki have kind of a cramped feel. So that could work. Uh, actually, let's take this one out and then put some pots and pans over it instead. Okay, that works. And we were going to have the sink over. So maybe it would be good. Yeah, I think we could just get rid of the cabinets here. Open the place up a little bit more. Have the sink. Uh, what's a cool sink? We'll stick. We'll just stick this. And this looks pretty hideous right now. But I'll, um, I'm just getting a feel for how everything's going to pl be placed now. And then I'll deal with actually figuring out the color scheme for it next time. Yeah, because I don't think... I think it's going to be too long of a part if I actually finish this whole main area this time. So this one's pretty nice. Yeah, if we make it a white color to go with this, could look pretty cool. Okay, I like that. I mean, this was a pretty easy thing to figure out. Actually, let's let's put this color on all of this stuff in here. Just, to, just so it looks a little bit more like how I wanted to. Although, like I said, I think it'd be kind of cool. Actually, so I said I wasn't going to be picking the colors, and then here I am doing it anyway. Ah, I can change the style on that. Okay, got it. Yeah, I mean, it might be- I'm kind of worrying this place has too much green, but then, you know, that was a theme I wanted for it. So I think that looks kind of cool, having the green upper cabinets like that. And then let's have- I mean, I could always make it another color that maybe goes with this. Um, I don't really want to figure out the actual countertop right now, but I wanted to at least get an idea with the cabinets. But I'm thinking a darker countertop would probably be better so we don't have so much white in this room. So maybe a more solid gray kind of a color for it would look cool. And then why not just... Yeah, I'll put this on here. Because I'm not really... I'm not really liking that white color. Or not the white, the, um, the wood. Yeah, not really feeling that. Okay, so... Ah! Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's what I want. And we'll just grab that. And stick it over here. And we should be good. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely 
work out what I want to do with everything later on. And then I guess we can also have the green here, and here, and here. Probably should also get it back here on the ship just to make sure I'm getting it. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, what I should do is make this match, match the countertop. Yeah, that would look pretty cool. Uh, and really quickly, let's figure out some dining chairs. What kind of dining chairs I want to use. So definitely something more on the modern side, of, modern side, of course. Ooh, these could look kind of cool. Hmm, these are a pretty good option. Uh, and then we have these, which are more minimal kind of a look. Uh, this one's pretty cool, too. I mean, this one might be better. Yeah, I think this one... This one works a little bit better. And then we'll just add these in there. Uh, I'm gonna go something other than that red color for it, but I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep the white that's on the frame though. I think that looks fine. And I'm really sorry that I am using some store set stuff, but I haven't built in The Sims 3 in a while and I did get all this stuff, so I wanna use it. Um, so sorry about that. But before ending this, I just wanna get a plant in here. And I'm probably gonna end the part shortly after that. Uh, like I said, next time we'll figure out more so how exactly everything's gonna look. Like all the coloring and everything and add some more details to it. But I just wanna end this part with a pretty solid idea of how everything's gonna be looking in here. Uh, and then for the coloring of that, I think I'm just gonna grab this for now. Oh wait, let's get that on this part as well. Actually, how would it look if we had that be... Okay, no, no, no. Like how was it before? I'm probably gonna change this wall paint here maybe to something else. Oh, it might be good also stick a column in here to cover this up. Because that doesn't really look so good. Oh, another thing I should probably get in here before ending things is some lights. Yeah, definitely want to make sure I don't forget that. So what cool ceiling lights do we have? Oh, I like this one. Yeah, let's use that. It's got a pretty nice, more modern look. So we'll have, I think, those two are probably, we probably don't need another one over here because we've got that lamp light. Uh, and then let's pick out something a little bit nicer to go over the dining room table. Something more chandelier like uh, that one is pretty cool. This one, maybe. Oh, what is this one? Okay, no, not that one. That one goes right through the dining room table. That's not gonna work. Uh, oh, this one's cool. Yeah, let's use this one. And I don't want to leave this with the red in here because it looks pretty awful. So just as a temporary thing, I'm gonna put this pattern on the chairs. Uh, that is a thing I'll be changing next time I'll figure out a permanent pattern for it, but I just- I don't want to end the part with it red like that and not really looking so great. I just want to feel a little bit better about it as I wrap things up. Okay, so I'll get that on here. And also add some kind of centerpiece to the table. So I think could definitely use that. So maybe that fruit basket type item that I think came with outdoor living stuff. And we'll also of course finish out the kitchen because the counters look pretty bad and I'll add in some more detail type items to it. Um, so my plan for the next part is to, actually I might want to remove some of the green on the walls. Maybe I should not have green at all on the walls. Actually, how would it look if we took this color or this wallpaper and just put it all in this area? Yeah, we can keep the green out there. Okay, that I think looks better. But I'm gonna have that be all that I do in this part. Next time I'll finish up this whole area because it's kind of a mess right now. And y'all can let me know if you have any ideas for things that I could do to finish up this area. So we'll finish this up next time and hopefully I'll be able to finish one of these bedrooms up here, probably the smaller one. Uh, depends on how much time finishing up the downstairs takes. Hopefully it won't take too long because I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. And I hope that y'all are enjoying this series so far. The next part will be up later this week, probably Thursday. But yeah, that's gonna be it. So thanks for watching and bye.